Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. I'm a Star Wars nerd, and as they say, so this is how liberty dies, with thunderous applause. And the country is applauding, and liberty is dying, and someone's got to do it. So I fight for gun rights here in Texas, the Lone Star State. Um, most people think it is very, very pro-gun. And while we do have our good policies, one of the ones we don't have is constitutional carry. And we have the ability to make history this week mm -hmm. and hopefully this legislative session. Okay, awesome. So how about we start uh, with the details that everyone out there is going to need to know and um and let me see there there's there's someone here from texas uh what who is this you know five nine two zero zero two says sub felicia goa member in clean texas hi always happy to have you yeah shout out to all the people in texas if you're in texas uh let us know um and even if you're not in texas you guys should be sharing this stuff with your friends and family that are in texas so where the th where are the websites and places like that that people should be going to yeah, so everything that you guys need to know for GOA Texas is at gunowners.org slash Texas. Mm -hmm. Right, and I think I can roll that in right now. Here we go. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Or, or uh, what, Here I see it's texas.gunowners.org, but I'm sure either one of those will work. Um, yes, yeah, so we just have a short link. Yeah, absolutely. So any info that you guys need is there. Um, and then I think, oh, here we go. Constitutional carry hearing March 25th. And yes. you can you can open that up and uh, get into it. So it says here, constitutional carry is being scheduled for a committee hearing next Thursday. That's this Thursday, yes. March 25th. Yes, two days from now. Right, at the Texas Capitol in Austin. Uh, we need your help to tell the legislature why it's critical for them to protect your gun rights by passing yeah. this priority registration. And and it, and it goes on to list, it says, these constitutional carry bills will allow those who can legally possess a handgun to carry it without a permit. And uh, the, there's a few there, yeah. and there's a take action. So go ahead. Yeah, so basically what we want to happen in Texas, that if you can walk into a gun store and purchase that handgun, then you can then carry that handgun, open or concealed, on your person without a government permission slip. We already have this legislation in place for long rifles. Um, so extending it to handguns should basically be a no-brainer. As we all know, an armed society is a polite society. And, you know, Texas needs to start living up to the, the, to the Wild West reputation everyone in the country thinks it has. Mm -hmm. We have multiple bills filed um, in, in the Texas House. We have a companion bill filed in the Senate. We have some of the best representatives co-authoring and sponsoring these bills. And frankly, I'm scared that if it doesn't happen this session, we may not get it because the political climate in Texas is definitely changing and has been changing over the past few cycles. Mm -hmm. So it's really important for everyone to not only try and show up to the Capitol on Thursday, expect a long day, they're hearing 22 other bills that day, or 22 bills total, and two of them are very high-level, high-priority criminal justice reform bills. Okay. So we are anticipating that they're going to have a huge rally outside, and they're busing in people to testify, and it's going to be a long day. People should expect to spend 12 to 14 hours at the Capitol. Don't worry, you'll get to hang out with me. Um, I'll even order you pizza if you come testify and hang out with us and, and oh, wow. you know, let your state representatives know that not only do you want your gun rights, you demand your gun rights mm -hmm. because it's it's well past time that Texas passes constitutional carry. Right. So free pizza. <laughs> free pizza and I'll give you a T-shirt. Yeah. Is there a limit? I hope there's a limit on the pizza. <laughs> You know what? If if we get constitutional carry passed, I will personally buy whoever wants a whole pizza. 
Oh. Within reason. Don't get crazy. <laughs> oh, wait. Is this <laughs> just... Yeah, 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 Sarge. Feel free to jump in here, by the way, Sarge. Yeah. Is, is this only in Texas? <laughs> only people... Only people who could show up. <laughs> like, what's the... Put some limitations. Next time I'm Alicia. in Florida, I'll oh. come buy you some pizza. I'll oh. need a vacation after legislative session. Right, I can we'll imagine. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Absolutely. You're always welcome to join us here. So, uh, what, I mean... What are the odds looking like here? What's the what are the chances, you know, that this is going to pass? Do you think? Yeah, um, I'm a strong believer in not counting my chickens before they hatch. So I like to tell people that I'm cautiously optimistic. We have a solid amount of constitutional carry bills fired, filed. The way that things work in the Texas House, things typically don't pass unless you have multiple bills filed. It doesn't make much sense. But that, that's just how the Texas legislature works. We also have a companion bill in the Senate. So hopefully they can, the bills can move through both chambers at the same time. And then we also have a relatively pro-gun Speaker of the House as well, which Texas has historically not had. And then when you look at the makeup of the, of the Texas House and the Texas Senate, we overall have a more conservative and more pro-gun house. Okay. So everything is kind of falling into line to where we have a really, really good shot. Essentially what we need is for the citizens to show up and let their representatives and their senators know what they want and what they expect when it comes to gun rights. And, you know, we've been dealing with the COVID stuff for, for the past year or so. And that's actually put Texans in a very unique position because for the first time ever, the Texas House is allowing people to submit written comments on bills online, which has never been allowed before. You had, in order to have your opinion voice on a bill, you had to show up to Austin. I don't know if y'all know this, but Texas is kind of big, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, El Paso is closer to California than it is to Dallas. And so some of these constituents would be driving nine, 10, 11 hours to try and come and testify. And this year, that financial and time burden is lifted. And so anyone who's in Texas can submit written testimony and the website tech, uh, gunowners.org slash Texas, you can scroll down to the middle of that page underneath the bills that says take action now and there's a red link that says click here in all caps, mm -hmm. you can click there and submit your testimony. We also have resources that explain the different bills and and our talking points and essentially what we want out of constitutional carry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I'm getting that to, did I get, I don't know if I got that right. I'm trying to, I'm trying to roll it in, but my software here is not working too awesome right now. But yeah, so that page that we showed earlier, um, if you go there and scroll down, it's easy to find. Um, so, go ahead, Felicia. I didn't want to cut you off. No, it's okay. Yeah. I try not to get too long winded. Um, I'm, I'm pretty chatty. So if you ever need I'll, me to hush, just, I was well. going to ask you a question. <laughs> yeah. Do you think, I know it's, it's, you said it was different that they're letting people put in online comments and mm -hmm. do you think people having to show up was a way to limit who did show up? Did you think that was the way it was before? Because like you said, Texas is huge. Right. I don't want to say that the government was intentionally preventing its constituents from being able to voice their opinions. I would never say that out loud. Um, it can kind of be assumed based on practices, but it could also kind of be assumed, you know, it wasn't broke, so they didn't fix it, you know, and and there wasn't necessarily enough pushback or or people screaming for online testimony the way that they were for covid because, I mean, I've worked multiple sessions and this is the least crowded I've ever seen the Texas Capitol. So people really are taking advantage of this and they really are staying home, whether that's because they don't have to come to the Capitol this time or because they're, um, they're worried about COVID and they don't want to be around a bunch of people. You know, I'm not sure, but it would be in it'll be interesting to see if the Texas House keeps this around. The Texas Senate is actually not allowing online testimony. So it'll be interesting to see what happens when we start having gun bills come up in the Senate and see if, you know, our participation drops off because people don't want to come to Austin. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. you know, it's, it's just kind of all new to everyone. We've never done session like this before. It's very odd session. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.